All right, everyone. So the audio from the original clip got messed up because it was too windy. So I'm actually re-recording it. So here I'm talking about my kangaroo pouch and what I hold in it. Typically, when I have my kangaroo pouch on, I hold my camera and some other small miscellaneous things in it, such as my rangefinder, spare camera batteries. Uh, here I'm showing off my milkweed that I carry with me. Um, in this pocket right here, I carry my camera batteries, and then. On my other side, that's where I put my rangefinder. So typically, this is a pretty big pouch. I'm able to fit my whole camcorder in there, along with uh, my hunting license right here, and my release and other small things like a water bottle and a snack. I'm doing an all-day set. I uh, also have my grunt call with me in this pouch, um, along with some uh, other ones. That's a flex tone, and then that is a just a hardbacked. So the flex tone, you're able to change the tone of the the grunt uh, from a buck to a doe to a fawn and then that's just a hardback buck call so uh, now I'm just still rambling on about my, my buck call and so now since I'm, I'm done talking about it I'm gonna set it on the ground so I can show you all my backpack So my backpack is a SOG backpack. Uh, you can buy them at Cabela's, Walmart, anything like that. Um, here I carry my sticks on the bottom. It just works a little bit better for me. And then you also see my platform on the outside. Um, so that's pretty much the end of this clip. I'm just talking uh, about how I'm going to uh, try to climb this tree now. All right, everyone. So here we're going to be talking about the equipment that I use while saddle hunting. Um, the first thing, most importantly, is your actual saddle. So I use the Tethered Mantis saddle. It's going to run you about 200 bucks. It's pretty expensive, yes, but for what it is, it is worth every penny. I've never once had any issues out of it, and I hunted all last season with it, doing all-day sets. So it's super comfortable. No complaints there. Um, really, honestly, the quality is just the, the best part about it. Um, you know, I, I don't have any concerns whatsoever while hunting. I feel perfectly secure and perfectly safe. Um, here I'm showing off my 12 inch dump pouch in the back that holds my linesman's. Uh, I have two of them, one for the climbing and then one for once I get to the top then I just uh, lock myself in. Next up we got the Muddy Pro Sticks. So the Muddy Pro Sticks are going to run you uh, on eBay. They're charging $230, um, even some up to $260. So I bought them before that they uh, they discontinued them, and I think I spent like 170, 180 bucks for them. Um, overall, they're really good. The issue though is, as you can see right here, is that the tops are really loose, and I've tightened them down three times now, and they just keep getting loose. You see me just clacking them, and the reason why is because while you're walking through the woods, like I'm doing it one-handed, while you're walking through the woods, that that thing hits back and forth, and that's a ping. So it's like ting, 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 ting as you're walking through the woods, which get kind of annoying. Another issue, though, is like I just was trying to show you, is one of the steps while I'm trying to step on it, if I have to change my weight distribution on the top of that step, it clacks real loud, and I have to stop and listen and make sure nothing blows or anything, okay. um, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but I've tried to fix it, and I can't, so... Um, you know, I can't really do nothing there. The next thing is going to be my out on a limb platform. And let me just go ahead and say I love this platform. Um, for me personally, um, I'm, I have a size 12 shoe. So I like having my um, I like having my feet kind of cockeyed while I'm sitting there on the, the, the stand. And uh, or my platform really is what I should call it. So that, that platform gives me that opp opportunity to do that. Um, as you can see, it's got a small depth, but the width of it's really long, and I just love that personally. I, I know some people like to use the uh, the uh, tethered one. To me, it just I didn't like the look of it, I've, and I've tried it once before, and it just was not really my my cup of tea. And that's going to be the Ridge Runner platform, and they run one hundred and sixty dollars. Um, they're a little bit expensive, but for what you're getting, uh, handmade in America and it is great quality and I feel perfectly safe with it and then the next most important thing is since I'm a cell filmer is my camera arm and I go on and sit there and talk about it so let me pull up the, the camera real quick uh, there we go the camera arm and uh, 
first off, let me just tell you that this camera arm is stout. I love this camera arm. You can see I've painted it to help it blend in. They come black with the muddy logo, uh, orange on them. Uh, you get two ways of adjustment, uh, vertical and then left to right um, on the front side. Uh, but once this thing is strapped down, you can put a great amount of weight on it and not have any issues. I hang my backpack and my, my kangaroo pouch from it, and I've never once had any complaints, any issues, and I've recommended it to a lot of people um, who want to get into saddle hunting. Um, you know, that being said, the uh, next thing I'm going to pull out is the actual arm itself because it comes as two pieces, um, which I know some people don't understand why that camera arms don't uh, apparently from what I've read online that some camera arms come as two separate pieces I don't understand that but Muddy does you right and gives you both both pieces so here is my the actual arm itself I've wrapped it in foam tape to help um, keep the sound down if my anything hits um, now what holds my camera is a fourteen twenty dollars something like that from Amazon uh, camera gimbal I think is what they call it off the top of my head and then I got the camera remote because since I use a camcorder, it works perfectly fine with my camera. Um, so here I am, just still discussing it. Uh, just now, I started talking about the foam. The good thing about this camera arm, though, is it comes with the bubble on the camera arm and not on the base. Uh, here I'm talking about the two-way adjustment. I forgot that I'm to mention that earlier. As you can see, there's the up and down. Here's the left and right. You got a lot of movement. Great way to adjust the. Make sure that, that that camera is level when you're in that tree. Uh, you're not filming crooked or anything. Um, so here's the foam tape I was telling you all about. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I believe. Um, I already told you all my backpack is a SOG. The, the kangaroo pouch is a redhead that I bought from Cabela's. Um, so that's pretty much it as, as far as the main equipment goes. And then my camera, I use a Canon. Um, Trying to remember the name, give me a second. Yeah, I have, like, I have the camera covered, so I'll have to put that in the title or in the video. I believe I put a little spot to put my camera at. And, uh, yeah, that's that's everything I, I use. So, uh, next clip is going to be me in the saddle showing off why I love saddle hunting and why I love the, the platform that I use. So hopefully I did enjoy this video. If y'all did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe. Uh, so I pretty much touched base with all the most important things for saddle hunting, to me at least, um, and being a self-filmer at the same time. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about was the weight of all of it. So when I'm fully dressed with my winter hunting and my saddle stuff, I weigh roughly 40 extra pounds. Um, 
So that's a lot less weight compared to a traditional uh, platform and sticks to hunt with. Now Lone Wolf does make their stuff pretty light, but we still have Lone Wolf beat by I think three or four pounds, I wanna say, with your sticks. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put all the links in the description if you're interested. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I touch base. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up and I'll be sure to answer them. If there's anything I missed that you wanted to see, let me know also and I will try to either post it on Instagram or may make a short video about all the smaller things that I missed. So hopefully you did enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe, turn that bell notification on. That way every time we upload, you know. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.